Hello, this is a quick demonstration of uh, what Boring Dashes is and uh, how it works and what you can do with that. So this is the interface, it's dockable, it is very simple and it has four buttons for four presets. But first of all, I want to show you why Boring Dashes has been created. Dealing with dashes in After Effects can be a tedious task. The main goal of Boring Dashes is to make that easier. I will quickly demonstrate the main problem with the workflow of dashes in After Effects. To work with dashes, we must first create a shape. Let's create a shape with a stroke. Something like this should work for this example. And then we can add the dashes to the stroke from the section dashes, just pressing this plus sign. And then we can also add the gaps, pressing it again. And we can resize either the dashes and either the gaps. And as you can see here, it's not easy to control this um, distribution of uh, dashes on my shape because these parameters are measured in pixels and to find an equal distribution it's not easy and the only way is to adjust these parameters by high and this can be already very annoying but the big issue comes when we want to change the shape and as you can see the dashes are appearing and disappearing and they are changing in number as I change the shape this can be a problem if we want to animate the shape let's animate this put the keyframe here and here And yeah, as you can see, yeah, we have this problem. And this is mainly why uh, Boring Dashes has been created to fix uh, this. And together with extra functionalities uh, that I'm going to show you in a second, it makes the workflow of working with dashes much easier and much more powerful. Okay, now that we spoke about the problem, I'm ready to show you the features of Boring Dashes. Let's start with this circle, pressing the button. And as you can see, a circle with dashes has been created with the Boring Dashes circle effect applied. And we can start to explore the parameters. Uh, horizontal radius, as you can see, changes the horizontal radius, while vertical radius, the vertical radius, the uniform scale helps you to control with just one parameter and dashes uh, is the number of the dashes Why the dashes size uh, controls the size of the dashes very straightforward and with rotation you can control the rotation of the dashes which is not the rotation of the ellipse but is the rotation of the dashes uh, around the ellipse and uh, with thickness uh, you control the thickness of the dashes and invert invert the position of the gaps and the position of, of the dashes and as you can see if I resize the dashes uh, and then do invert uh, it doesn't swap the dashes with the gaps but just uh, invert their position and this is really useful in certain cases let's reset and I'll show you why and I'm going also to introduce you to trim and slide and arrow section and so let's start from slide as you can see slide basically yeah it makes the entire part to slide in and out and here we can see uh, this issue that we can fix with invert so at the origin and now there is a gap and not a dash so and and we don't see that uh, division when we use slide so trim trim uh, 
it's pretty simple. It trims the dashes on the path. Arrow visibility activates the tip of the arrow, which can be really useful used together with slide and trim. I can make an animation of this from 100 to 0 and I can also change the size of the arrow and its roundness and that's it for circle let's speak about boring dashes box uh, let's create the box and uh, boring dashes box is very similar to circle and in fact is uh, interchangeable it has the same parameters more or less uh, width high uniform scale and plus uh, it has the roundness which makes it morph between a square and a circle dashes are the number of dashes um, let's add a little bit of roundness and the dashes size is the size of the dashes and rotation exactly like circle thickness and invert and slide and, and then we have uh, trim and the arrow visibility with the size of the arrow and the arrow roundness okay burning dash is poly let's create it and as you can see in the effect panel we have uh, uh, many more uh, parameters especially they are for the control of the shape let's start with the outer radius which controls the main size of the polygon outer roundness its roundness and then we can choose between the poly types we can choose between polygon and star let's choose star so, and let's visualize the layer control so we can understand better inner radius what it does basically controls the size of the inner points of the star and the roundness changes roundness um, add extra faces or uh, points if it's a star so we can say like yeah eight point star then we can choose uh, 16 uh, dashes so it's more symmetrical and poly rotation uh, rotate the entire uh, polygon and uh, rotate inner radius rotates just the inner points makes a more complex shape and uh, dashi size is exactly the same of the other shapes controls the, the size of the dashes rotation rotates the dashes so that they create this uh, symmetrical and interesting uh, animation and then we have the thickness and the invert and uh, slide uh, slides out and slides in the dashes let's add extra dashes that you can see better uh, or not just uh, yeah let's reset the effect so yes slide slide out and slide in the dashes uh, arrow visibility and uh, let's put it zero and trim trims the dashes and yeah these parameters are uh, exactly the same but um, 
this last parameter I just length it's uh, useful in certain cases I'm gonna reset to show you if I make a star and if I make the corners very sharp this is handy to put this uh, back in symmetry because for certain reasons After Effects mess up uh, a little bit the length in certain cases the length of the shape and this helps uh, to put um, to readjust the symmetry in those cases Burning Ashes shape is the last one but it's the most useful one and let's create it it creates a, a preset of a shape that we can uh, modify as we want we can uh, add extra points mm. yeah as we as we like and uh, we can also uh, copy a path and uh, paste it inside the group of the shape dashes path and in path and uh, yeah i'm gonna demonstrate that doing uh, a uh, text a letter x for example and i'm going to convert that uh, in uh, a shape and delete the text let's uh, take the shape uh, and uh, let's, let's make it oops and let's make it bigger less like this and we can copy this path and paste it inside the boring dashes shape and let's add uh, some dashes let's remove yeah, the layer controls so it gets better what we can do we can rotate and we have the same uh, tools uh, slide and trim this is trim and the arrow and slide and uh, yeah that's it here is a quick tip what if we want to animate these trim dashes with the arrow along this path and we want to make a loop of that but we don't want that to disappear through the origin point and we can neither use uh, rotation because it rotates just inside the trim path the only way to fix that is to use a trick that I'm going to show you let's animate the slide from 100 to 0 for a second and let's add the expression of the loop Oops. loop out and uh, yes uh, as you can see now with slides we have uh, a problem in the loop and to fix that we have just to duplicate the layer and uh, we want to copy the effects with uh, property links from the first one to the second one and then we can go and to remove the keyframes that we don't need anymore and we add to the expression just minus 100 and so we have our uninterrupted loop
and now we can also yeah, continue to change the parameters from the first uh, layer and the second one will be linked and that's all thank you bye bye